Well, all right, boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks of life, welcome to the garage. I made a quick video yesterday, and at that point, a whole bunch of stuff wasn't finished on this guitar. And I didn't think I was even going to mess with it till after next weekend, uh, after this weekend, because my son's coming over for a visit, and that's going to be awesome, and I, you know, want to spend a lot of, as much time as I can with him. Anyways, but... You know, I came out here today and started looking at this thing. So I said to myself, Self, let's just see if we can make this thing work. So I had to use heat shrink tubing. I had to use solder. I had to use a special grounding thingy. I have some parts left over that I still got to use. This, these some of this, you know, and all the plates, you know, to cover the back and the tremolo and all those kinds of good things. I, use, I even used a darn razor blade. Can you believe it? I use all these strippers and wire cutters and little itty bitty screwdrivers, great big screwdrivers and even a nut driver, even a goofy looking uh, craftsman croissant wrench, as the French would say, the croissant wrench. Anyways, so I got out here and I was messing around with it. Now, you know that I talked about changing the electronics on this. Um, and what I mean by that is upgrading like the pots and stuff like that and the switch. Well, I did 75% of that. I got the new Borns pots put in there. I wired it up, put a great big old uh, orange drop capacitor in there. Um, things like that. I have not replaced the switch yet, but that's something that will not be hard to do in the long run if I decide to do that. Anyway, I just thought I'd show it to you. Kind of got it sort of assembled. You know, these pickups still need to have the be taken back out and the springs put on and all that good stuff. It's got to be taken completely back apart, basically. The, uh, the strings are way off the fretboard. It needs a good setup. But, um... Let's check it out. Let's see if I accomplished anything today. tone but you know you got to use something like that your old fender tuner so there you have it folks it's getting closer and closer all the time to being completely finished it's not there yet like I said it's got to have a total setup get all this pickup wiring and stuff all stuffed in there just real nice and uh, let's just go ahead and unplug this for a minute and I'll hold it up and you can see if you can uh, kind of check out the wiring. I don't know how good it'll, it'll look, but uh, there it is. You can see that orange drop in there. And what I did was, um, I remember a long time ago when I was first messing around with guitars, the great Steve Spaulding told me that, uh, you know, I, I wasn't messing with electronics at all, but he said, you know, don't ever take and cut your darn pickup leads off. So what I did is I just left them this, the length that they came with and kind of wrapped them around and, and wire tied them because, you know, the point is with something like that is that if you cut your wires real close to your pickup, the next guy that's going to do something with it is going to have to do a bunch of soldering and, you know, patching stuff back in. It's always kind of a nightmare. So always leave your wires as long as you can, you know, with, with, and still have them look good, you know. The tremolo's working good. I have, of course, the back plates for it that'll go on. And um, <clears throat> the tremolo, like I said, is working very well. Really happy with that. 
Anyways, just a quick look at it again. Hope you guys are liking it. I think it's going to be a pretty nice guitar. Uh, if and when I get it completely done and set up, that'll be probably after this weekend. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Sometimes you leave comments, and that's awesome. Sometimes a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are really good because they're easy to do, and they supposedly help your algorithm on your YouTube channel. Anyways, this bridge also I may end up replacing, maybe. Uh, that's kind of an iffy thing because if I do, I'd probably have to get whole different studs. And, you know, as, as I showed you before, this has got a really skinny block on it. This block here is just super skinny, like a, a big fender or some of the ones that I've replaced on my other guitars have a great big beefy block, much better for sustain. Anywho's, I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I am getting really close. It's getting right down to where it's just, you know, take the strings back off, get the pickups all wired in there, hardwired so they're not flopping around. Get a good setup on it. Maybe down the line, uh, if I play it for a while and decide I really want to have one of those six-way switches or something, maybe I'll do that. But for now, I'm pretty darn happy. And once again, thanks again for watching the channel. Um, Pray for your country, be healthy, be safe, be happy. What the heck? You might as well. Anywho, I'll see you in the next one from Randy's Guitar Shop. See you later. Bye-bye.